steadier one, yeah. What are you doing? I am trying to thread this needle so I can sew the button back on my shirt. So domesticated. It popped off in the middle of a meeting. It's a bit awkward. How do people do this? It's impossible. I can help. Really? Yes. Well, it's harder than it looks, just so you know. OK. So is there a reason that you're here to torment me right now? Well, it's 1.30. Yeah, and? Oh! Oh, we were supposed to go to lunch. Yes, lunch. Sorry, I was just focusing on finishing this and everything else just sort of... How long have you been at it? Oh, obviously too long. In fact, I don't even remember. My eyes started twitching about half an hour ago, so that should have told you something. You did yeah. it! Yes. Oh, now you're just a show off. Go on, put a button on there now. Let's see how easy that is. Hey, I had an awesome date last night. Really? Did you set her up? No, I said it was awesome. Oh. <laughs> you just so slave, and you tell me everything. OK, well, uh, his name is Andrew, and we met at an open house. He took me out to dinner, and it was just... Magical. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, I really just can't wait for him to call me again. I had to tell somebody. Anyway, you two look like you're busy, so. Well, one of us is. No. All right, see ya. Hi. See ya. Oh. So, are you almost done yet? Almost. Oh, you actually are. <gasps> Good job, you. There you go. Thank you so much. Welcome. See, I knew I kept you around for a reason. <laughs> Not a bug, you can't kill it like that. No. <laughs> you get it. Quick. <laughs> okay, and when will you be there? Yes. Thank you. Bug trouble? Mouse. Ooh. What's your landlord doing about it? Nothing. He just told me that it probably showed up because my place wasn't clean enough. Uh, uh, do they know you at all? Seriously. So guess what? What? I met this guy. You did? Yeah, and we went on a date and everything went really great. Awesome. But he hasn't called yet. How long has it been? Two days. That's not bad. Seriously, just wait till the weekend. Yeah. You're right. It's probably just too soon. It's just taking forever. Well, three days, but still. How long do I have to wait till I call him? Are you sure you want to do that? I know, that's, that's too needy. Look, I'm sure he'll call by tomorrow. I wonder if he's OK. You know what? I once dated this guy, and he got a wreck right after our first date. OK, that's it. I'm, I'm calling him. But then if he's fine, I'm going to look really desperate. Yeah, probably. He isn't going to call, is he? No. Do you know what? Men can be so hard to read sometimes. Not for you. What we need is, is a man's perspective. Who? OK, you said what? Just, you can just come and help. You volunteered me for pure guy torture. <gasps> what did I ever do to you? OK, you're being a little melodramatic. You know what? I have plans. Yeah, you do. You have plans to come and help out a good friend who is in need of a little moral support. I hate you. No, no, you don't. And you're going to come and nod and smile and be comforting and charming. Here I am. Oh.
Yes, but whatever he did, it didn't do anything. I'm sure that it's still alive. I've seen, I've seen plenty of proof. Well, could you send somebody back out? I'm not gonna pay you anything extra. Don't you have a customer satisfaction guarantee? I'm not getting snippy, I... Hello? Hello? You hung up on me. So they can't do anything? You should go back to the landlord. He keeps arguing that it's something the tenant should do. Well, what about the other tenants? Are they having this problem? I don't know, but I'm not gonna go knock on Colin's door to find out what pests are there. Other than him, you mean? I'm just gonna have to take matters into my own hands. Okay, that is it. We are getting a cat. <sighs> no pets. I'm adamant about not having pets. Okay, but if we had a cat, then we wouldn't have a mouse. Uh, what happened? Oh, I was getting ready for work. So either the mouse goes or I go. Okay. Hey! Okay, we'll have to go to plan B. And what's plan B? Total annihilation. Okay guys, which bait should I use? Wait, tell us the options again. I've got blue cheese, cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, and hot dogs. Uh, no rat poison? <laughs> and I've got rat poison. Um. We have so many traps there. Just put a different thing in each one and then just let the mouse choose how he wants to die. <sighs> Good idea. Keep talking, I'm listening. Why does she have so many traps? Oh, because it's war now. Like, she's not messing about. <laughs> okay, start from the very beginning and, and don't leave anything out. Okay, so we met at this open house okay. and he started talking to me and kind of flirting with me and he asked if I was free for dinner that night and of course I was, so I said yes. <laughs> okay, so you got a nice place? Yeah, it was nice, and he treated, and, oh wait, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I said, don't miss any details, that's the part I like. Yeah, come on, do you pay with American Express or Visa? I don't wanna miss anything. Just ignore him. <sighs> okay, so throughout dinner we were talking, and I started talking about my mom. Weird. And he had this look that was really uh, understanding, and sympathetic, and sincere, and loving, and it, Took my breath away. Wow. Wow. I'm trying. And I swear, he was staring at my mouth. Like he wanted to kiss exactly. you. Exactly. Oh my. I need to date more. Seriously. <laughs> what is this? Oh. <laughs> Keep rubbish in the sofa now? I don't. No wonder you have a rat problem. Mouse problem. And I clean up after myself. Uh, yeah, but Marianne, on the other hand? <laughs> Oh, gross. <laughs> hey, focus. All right, I want you to carry on. Okay, so uh, during dinner, I kept catching him just smiling at me. For no reason? Yeah, kind of sweet, right? Okay, now I see why you're like completely falling for this guy. Uh, I know. So when you said goodbye, tell me exactly what he said. Oh, yeah. Thanks for tonight. My pleasure. Will I see you again? Count on it. I have your number. <sighs> wow, it sounds to me like he's gonna call. Definitely, I mean, definitely. Okay, well, if he was going to call, then why hasn't he called? I, I mean, when we touched, I swear there was an actual spark. There was, you never mentioned touching. Why didn't you say that before? Okay, well, let me get there. It was during dessert and I had my hand sitting out on the table and he just reached over and put his hand on top of mine. You grabbed it? Yeah. That's it, this guy better call you. Or what, you're gonna set a trap for him? That's it. Mr. Knightley, explain yourself. What? Yeah. If you're a man. I am. Oh, no, if you're Lizzie's man, then why haven't you caught her yet? Yeah, are you leading me on or are you seriously ill in a hospital somewhere? I don't know, I'm not this guy. Oh, men are jerks. What? I would never set you up with someone like that, you. Okay, I mean, let's have a little reality check here. What reality? Oh, I, mean, I don't know why you do this to yourselves. You overthink and analyze everything. We do not. Okay. 
How long was the date? I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe. And how long have you been talking about it with all of your friends? A few days. <laughs> That's exactly my point. You've been reliving this entire experience, wondering, like, what did that look mean? I think he's in love with me. We had a spark. There was a spark. You think there was a spark, but you've been reliving every experience for so long that you've got this dreamy, filmy haze that's obscuring the truth. And what exactly is it that you think the truth is? It was dinner. No. A guy's got to eat. He probably saw a pretty girl and thought, great, company. Come on. Boo. I'm going with Lizzie's version. He loves her. Thank you. Fine. Hey, guys. what I miss? Hours of my life I'll never get back. Oh, hey, I brought you a cupcake. They were throwing the leftovers away. Thank you. Oh, yum. Don't eat that. What? That's rat bait. Mouse. Rodent. Is it poison? No. Oh, that's so gross. I just bought it today. You go all out for your rats. Mouse! There's a big difference. By the way, I think I know what the problem is. Oh yeah, that's great. Trash. Care to be more specific? The trash you keep putting in and under our couch? Oh, that. You know where the trash can is, right? Yeah, but it's all the way in the kitchen. So when I'm watching TV or reading a magazine, it's so inconvenient. Well, I hope you feel that way next time you put it under our couch and the mouse starts nibbling at your fingers. Ew. You know, dating is all about the romance. I mean, if you're not going to look at something in a romantic light, what is the point in going? Well, I think your romantic light is blinding you. Are all men this pessimistic, or is it just you? You just don't want to believe me. Who would? All right, fine. But let me clear up a few of these little moments that you had with little Andrew. OK, you said he was staring at your mouth. What did you have to eat? Pasta. With parsley in it? And there you go. She did not. That's why he was looking at her mouth the Don't whole time. Don't listen to him. Well, what about the look? It was just a look, too subjective. Ah, see, you've just proved it. There's no way you can actually know what he was thinking. I mean, it could have actually been anything. <laughs> All right, you want another reason for it? What was he eating? Cheese ravioli with mushrooms. Hmm. Cheese ravioli, which means gas. Ugh. Uh, spare us, please. Oh. I'm just saying. That, well, it's not really likely, is it? Actually, very likely. Did he ever excuse himself to, uh... Good! Okay, okay moving on. All right, what's next? Okay. I caught him smiling at me. OK, you caught him because he was trying not to smile at you or because you almost caught him doing something else? Yep, definitely. What? Game scores. No way. He can't be. No way. Hello? There's no way that you could know what he was doing. What, is that what you do on your dates? I'm just saying, if you want to overanalyze things in your favor, you have to at least consider the other possibilities. <gasps> I think I got it. Oh, no. Oh, false alarm. Are you sure? Yeah, the cheese is still on it. I must have said it wrong. Wait, it's going to die when I catch it, right? Hopefully. Yeah. What do I do with the body? Well, you open the trap and dump it in the trash. Ew. You're going to help with that, right, Grant? Why me? You're the man. Fine. If I'm around, I'll help. OK, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I have a date. That is the one perk about my lousy job, is I meet tons of cute guys. All right, have fun. Always do. All right, can we get back to analyzing this date, please? OK, so wait, OK. What about the touch? Remember that? How do you explain that, Mr. Knightley? Yeah, you can tell when there's a spark. Well, for you, maybe, but there is no way to know what this guy is thinking or feeling. Uh, 
you never mess with a guy's dessert, especially on a first date. Okay, fine, you've proved your point. Looks can be deceiving and subjective and blah, blah, blah. But you can't argue what he said. Thanks for tonight. My pleasure. Will I see you again? Count on it. I have your number. Yeah, how are you gonna argue that? Well, is that how he said it? Or was it maybe more like... Okay, so you say... Thanks for tonight. And then he says, um, my pleasure. Will I see you again? Um, count on it. I, I have your number. That's not how he said it. How do you know? Were you there? Okay, it's just time to find out if this guy is for real. How? By calling him. Wait, I thought you said I shouldn't. But maybe it's not such a bad idea because you're never gonna have any peace until you know, like, for sure. Yeah, just call him and let's find out if you're right or if Grant is. Really? You know what? I'll even throw in a cupcake to the winner. Excellent, I'm starving. Uh, don't get so confident. Okay, you know, you're on. Really? Here goes. Uh, uh oh. Hang on a second. Is this Andrew? Yeah. Why does it say he's in a relationship with Kaylee Burmister? Is it Burmister or Burmeister? Does it matter? Are you okay, Lizzie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I won. I get the cupcake. Oh! I'm sorry, Lizzie, but at least you know. Yeah, I mean, at least I know. Maybe he just hasn't updated his status yet. Yeah, it could be an old girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, come on. What is your problem? Do you go around telling the small children, oh, there's no tooth fairy? Where is your sense of hope? I'm all for it as long as you don't let hope get out of control and end up deluding yourself. He has zero experience with that sort of thing. Ignore him. Hey, you can't deny the truth just because you don't want to hear it. At this point, I don't even want to know. He could still call. Yeah, maybe. But until then, you win. Really? Awesome. Mm. You have it. No, you want it fair and square. You deserve it more than I do. Come on. Thank you. It's actually not bad for mouth cheese. <laughs> do you guys want crackers? Oh yeah, that'd be better. No. Don't eat it all. Here. Mm. What was that? Did that box just... Grunt. Grunt, kill it! No! He's gonna find it this time. $150 for an emergency call? He better. Uh, well, no offense, but I'm not going back in there till that rat's dead. It's a mouse. What's the difference? How big it gets? <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> what a pleasure to see you all. Lizzie, you look radiant. Mm, well, thanks. So, what are we ladies up to? Um, we have an exterminator coming to kill a mouse. <laughs> mouse. Oh no. That's little Lizzie! Lizzie! Little Lizzie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>